Welcome to tutorial on WSO2 API Micro Gateway GitOps based CI CD. I am Rajit Roshan from WSO2 API Manager team. So, first of all, let me explain the development workflow of WSO2 API Micro Gateway. So, WSO2 API Micro Gateway allows developers to create micro gateway projects using, using the standard open API definitions. So, developers create microservices and then write the standard open API definitions uh, ex expressing the interfaces of their microservices and then later use the micro gateway toolkit to initialize micro gateway projects and then build the project and provide the outputs of the project to the micro gateway runtime and then test them locally and later they can commit those micro gateway projects to the github. So, uh, once it is done multiple developers collaboratively can develop this project by checking out the project and then adding more and more microservices to the same open API definition or adding several open API definitions to the micro gateway project and then locally testing it after building the project and then committing to the github. So uh, using open API definitions to create runtime artifacts and then uh, provide those runtime artifacts to the runtime is uh, explain in our quick start tutorial. So uh, let me uh, explain why GitOps is uh, suitable for micro gateway. So uh, from my previous explanation that micro gateway is based on project. So developers of microservices can collaboratively develop this project uh, and build on top of it. And this project can be managed using a source control system like Git. So Git uh, GitHub can like act as a single source of truth for the developers to develop APIs as well as to the operators to deploy the uh, gateways. And always this desired state of the deployment can be maintained in the Git. So the speciality of micro gateways it creates the deployment artifacts or the Kubernetes artifacts automatically for you using the micro gateway toolkit and we can maintain those uh, deployment artifacts in GitHub to keep track of the desired state of your deployment and this kind of workflow perfectly matches with declarative tools like Kubernetes. So uh, for, let me explain the CI CD workflow uh, we have configured with Jenkins. So we have created a simple Jenkins pipeline which fetches the changes from the git on the micro gateway project we have committed to the GitHub. And then, auto, uh, then within the Jenkins, we have defined a micro gateway toolkit, which will create, which will build this project and generate Kubernetes artifacts, Docker images, and do push those Docker images to the Docker Hub as well. Then later, these Kubernetes artifacts will can be directly pushed into your Kubernetes cluster using the Jenkins pipeline itself. So uh, this is the uh, basic flow where uh, the Jenkins server fetch changes from the GitHub and then build the project using the micro gateway uh, toolkit. This toolkit uh, will then output the generated artifacts and Docker images and then this uh, Jenkins server will commit the changes which was generated due, due to the build command to the GitHub and then deploy in Kubernetes cluster. So uh, now uh, let me uh, demo this uh, for you. So uh, right now in my Kubernetes cluster, I have micro gateway running in for uh, for a sim sample bookstore. So it has uh, I have exposed a bookstore listing service via micro gateway. So now I am going to uh, show you uh, how I am going to invoke that books list service. So now as a second developer. I am going to write a search service for my uh, bookstore application and let's see how you can directly uh, continuously deliver this uh, functionality to the existing deployment. So uh, now I have checked out my micro gateway project. So, so this is the initial open API definition which I have created which the previous developer has created. So it has exposed the listing service uh, using this backend. Now I am going to add the book search service also. So uh, I have added the book search service which is running on this uh, 
production endpoint or the uh, on or, or the Kubernetes cluster. So now I am going to I have now edited my micro gateway project to add the search service. So let's now I am going to commit this to GitHub. So we can see now the change. So if I do a git diff, we can see the newly added search service. So now I am going to add this. I am going to uh, commit this to GitHub. So I am going to push the chain to GitHub. Now it has been pushed to the GitHub. Now let's see uh, on Jenkins server the pipeline we have configured. So first of all, initially I have I am checking out my GitHub project. So it checks out the all the changes done to the project. Then within the Jenkins, I have configured the micro gateway toolkit to build the, this project uh, using the deployment config toml I have with I have in my project. So now here I have given the micro gateway build command. So this will build and generate the runtime artifacts uh, and uh, deployment artifacts as well. Then I am committing the changes it creates after building the project. So I am committing the changes to the GitHub. So these changes are happening due to the generation of the Kubernetes artifacts when we are building. So uh, finally I am deploying this uh, the generated artifacts the docker images all the things into the Kubernetes uh, cluster using the Jenkins Kubernetes plugin. So uh, <laughs> now uh, I have added the search service for, for the sake of uh, tracking the changes I am going to uh, give a new docker image version for the uh, new deployment I am going to do. So I am going to give the deployment uh, the tag as v2 for my uh, docker image which will be which will be uh, deployed in kubernetes cluster so we can we can uh, roll back whenever something goes wrong so i will uh, add that change as well So now I have added the search service and I have changed the uh, docker image tag to have a different version. So now let's see. Now let's trigger a build in the Jenkins for this pipeline and see what happens. So now I have triggered a build. So it will first it will check out all the changes from the GitHub. Then it will. Uh, build the micro gateway project within the Jenkins server. So it uh, it is now generating the it has successfully generated the runtime artifact and it is now generating the Kubernetes artifact and right now it is pushing the Kubernetes Docker images to the my Docker registry. So this will take some time due to creating the Docker image and pushing it to the Docker registry. So now it has successfully generated the Kubernetes artifacts and now it is committing the changes to the GitHub using the same Jenkins pipeline and now it is trying to push the changes to the Kubernetes cluster using the generated Kubernetes artifacts. So the, the generated Kubernetes artifacts are inside this location in the Jenkins server. So it now pushing the changes to the Kubernetes cluster and now the, my pipeline has finished successfully. So we can see it has built the project and committed the changes to the project and then deployed the changes in Kubernetes cluster. Let's now try invoking the search service as well. So now I have a search service which search with a keyword and let's see whether my service has got deployed successfully. So the, the backend or the micro gateway has responded successfully. So we have seen how you can uh, have continuous delivery and continuous integration with micro gateway based on git git operations so uh, and also stay update for the uh, like uh, coming webinars which will be updated in the blog post we have already released in our site 
एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच